What is cracking, big dogs? Welcome, Pike, to Fade the Public. This is the Fade the Public podcast. I am Nicholas. That is Snacks over there. That's Animal underneath me. We're sticking with the quad box. Today, we're doing a Would You Rather episode where animals concocted a bunch of questions. Some of them are fantasy related. A lot of them are not fantasy related. Me and Snacks have not seen the questions yet. We have no idea. I'm glad you you prefaced on that, that some are fantasy related and a lot are not because it's the majority or not. I mean, based on your example today, it's going to test our uh, how sick of human beings we really are. And we're sick. Yep. So it's going to be a lot of yeah, fun. You know, Monday through Thursday, you got some big facts. It's Friday. We're going to have some fun. Hell yeah. And that's how we're going to run Fade the Public from now on. We got our rookie draft coming up this Sunday. So a couple days from now, and then we'll recap it in next week's episode. I'm excited for that. Yeah, that's going to be a good time. A lot of action. A ton of action. A lot action. of action. Yeah, we, I, ne- next, ep- next week's episode should be really good. There's going to be a ton of fucking trade offers between now and Sunday. It's actually going to be ridiculous. Insane. Incredible. Again, this is this is Fade the Public. Sorry, I just I just woke up from a nap, to be honest. Like when you texted me and you're like, sorry, 10 minutes. I was like, honestly, I need like 20, <laughs> no 25. <problem>. So, <laughs> yeah. I almost was texting you back and be like, yeah, 8 30 kickoff time actually let's push this back this is the first nap i took all quarantine the first nap i took all quarantine yeah you've been fucking hustling i don't ever take naps i've probably taken a total of 10 naps in my life i used to to start no i used to be a big nap guy i haven't been in quite some time yeah i'm going to bed at 4 a.m every night since the draft i'm just like (laughs) that's 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 an issue terrible just been watching kj hamler film every night (laughs) yeah man i'm so excited for this season yeah so watch uh, watch overthrows so (laughs) so that being said i I preface with that because my mind is either going to be very sharp coming off a nice little nap or i'm going to be very dull and moving in slow motion because i just came don't worry don't worry you got one don't worry i'm gonna test your your mental capacity all right well i'm ready to go are you guys are are gonna really bust your brain okay animal are you ready i couldn't be more bust a nut in your i'm ready in your head you guys ready to play would you rather I'm gonna do that again, Scott. Go with. Uh, no. It's time to play. Would you rather? I'd rather Scott, not. One more. Hold on. Hold on, Scott. One more. All right, let's play. Would you rather? <laughs> Scott, just use all of those. <laughs> all right. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. All right. We're going to start it off. I'm going to explain the rules real quick. It's really simple. I'm going to ask you a question. It's going to start with would you rather, and it's going to give you like a would you rather A or B, and then you guys can explain why. We're going to start off with a simple one. Not a lot of thinking. Just go right into it. Would you rather be the star quarterback of an NFL team or the GM? The star quarterback, because no one knows who the fuck a GM is. When you're the GM, all the bad shit comes with being a GM. You get all the nonsense media, the press, about how you ran a shitty fucking franchise. You, you're probably 80 years old, whereas if you're a star quarterback, you're 21 years old, and you have your, your selection of women. You're just coming into your prime as a young man, and you're rich, and shit is fun. So I, I don't even know if I would want to be a GM if I had the opportunity like right now for free. If, if being a quarterback no was not even my option. I can easily understand that thought process, um, but I, I also think it would have to do with, look, the, the the Browns GM is like 31 years old, isn't he? He's young as shit. Is he really? Um, hey, you, don't have to, you don't have to be 80. Maybe not 31, but he, he's really young, yeah. How did he get the uh, I would job? Pick, I would pick GM. I would pick GM. I'm with you, Snacks. I want to put together the team that I want. Yes. I know yes. how. I know how I like a football team, and this is exactly how I want to do it. So if I'm in charge and I get to do that, hell yeah, I'm gonna do it. This is an easy. I mean, a, you're talking about you're talking about scrutiny for a GM. Oh, this team sucks. He put it together. What about the scrutiny a quarterback gets when he goes five and eleven, four and twelve, and he's just not good and he's not a starting quarterback after two years? A GM shelf life might be three or four years if you enter rebuild mode, and then you can strip it down and build it the way you want to, and then get all of the accolades after. Do you know what the so best job? Do you know what the best job in the NFL is? Being an owner. No, being the backup, backup quarterback. quarterback. So if you suck yeah. over the first uh, yeah. two or three years. You're still fucking set. You're fine. And you, I, Alex Moran is like the greatest fictional character ever. That's who you wanted to be from Blue Mountain State. Exactly. Backup quarterback, got all the girls, 
partied hard, never played. That's where your dream is. Real but football guys. Question, real so. football guys are going to take GM. Real guys are going to take quarterback. <laughs> yeah, that's a great way to sum it up. All right. Listen, All I right. mean, I like it. I'm, I'm okay with being a football guy. Let's uh, let's go to the next one. Would you rather have to wear shoulder pads every time you go in public, or have to wear a helmet with a face mask every time you eat? <laughs> I would. Uh... Wow, this is this is good. I I I'll go. I'm gonna pick a face mask while eating. <laughs> I'm gonna have to agree I, with you there. I think yeah. I don't think I every time I'm in public wearing shoulder pads. Listen, it would make me look better because I'm a scrawny little bitch. But I don't think I could physically do it every every time. <laughs> so eating with a face mask, there's ways around it. You go under, you go through it, depending on what you eat. I feel like so you could turn I'm, into a I'm game. Like you could have people you, try to throw much, yeah. shit. If you get a visor, you soup that thing up and have people throw it at yep. your face. It doesn't. You don't have to worry about it hitting your eyes or anything yep. just through the hole. The condiment blocker. And yeah. it, you, you could fit like a slice of pizza, like through it and like try and finagle it through and try and get it through your mouth down your guzzle. I'm just worried I, I, that I mean, it would ruin eating forever. Like certain foods, like imagine trying to eat a six inch hero. Like that's going to fucking be tough. Well, you're gonna to have shove to it under the face mask. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to adjust. If you're a freak athlete, just cut the fucking thing up just, and use little I'm just pieces. Saying. And put it under the I mean, it would definitely. I'm with you. It I'm, would be a. I'm with it's you more of like it. a nuisance. Like that's gonna be a nuisance, of course. But like having to wear shoulder pads in public forever <laughs> is is the most absurd fucking thing I've ever heard. It's so it's it's social suicide. It's irresponsible. <laughs> Go. All, all right, so we all agree on that one. Here we go. Next one. Would you rather only be able to listen to football games on the radio? Or be able to watch them on TV, but with no sound. No sound. That's so easy for me. I already listen to football with no fucking sound. That's what I yeah, figured. I put on like no a sound. podcast or music or something usually on Sundays. Though I do like, you know, our, our new friend of the show, Scott Hansen, is a god. And I yes. do like to hear yeah. his voice every once in a while. So I would miss it. Uh, however, I don't think I want like football to turn into a radio sport for me. No, I and I, I mean... Obviously, you've got to listen to it sometimes when you're, you know, you're driving back from the grocery store at one thirty, which you should never be doing. But um, <laughs> I, I don't really care. I as long as I can see it, it doesn't really matter to me. But there is something about like hearing Al Michaels and Chris Collinsworth on a big Sunday night football game that I would miss. And I'm talking about no I sound. If like I couldn't see pads, it, then I'd be fans, very yeah. everything. Well, that's yeah. that's well, that's I, what I, we're I, about brutal. to fucking listen to in. Uh, <laughs> Wait, do you think that's yeah, going to happen? Exactly. Do you think, like, what are they going to do? They're going to bring an announcer. Say they oh. play the football season with no fans or anything in a stadium. You think they have, like, the announcer still in the booth just by themselves in the stadium? I don't Probably, yeah. Happen. That'd be yeah. incredible. Yeah. Which right, I, don't, we're gonna... I can't picture it happening. Sorry, Max. I really think if they do it with, like, I don't think it's going to be no fans. I think there's going to be, like, hard set deadlines like fifteen thousand almost like how, like like how they're opening up some of the states now at like twenty five percent capacity or something. Right. I still right. think that's a really I, bad I, idea, but yeah. I so do I. I don't disagree. But these guys these greedy owners and this greedy NFL, they're not losing out on all these concessions and all these things that they're gonna get. My type so of I, I can't I can't picture I can't picture everybody coming in, but I could definitely see a percentage and you're gonna be on like a wait list or something. You get this game, you get that game, whatever the case is. So all right, we're gonna we're gonna dance on the same line, same line here. Would you rather listen to Pat McAfee commentate every game or no, no commentary at all? I already no know Snack's answer. <laughs> yeah. I, I would definitely prefer Pat McAfee. Um, I know that Snacks doesn't necessarily like him because he can get kind of annoying, which is which is the shtick for most people that try to be funny on social media 24-7, and I get that it gets played out. But he's also a former NFL player, and he has insights that you're not going to get elsewhere from guys that haven't been inside the locker room. And he's very relatable to us millennials, so I would definitely take Pat McAfee. That is true. That is true. And I listen, I am not his biggest fan. I do find him annoying and, and kind of outdated, but that's his shtick, and he's going to keep going with it, so there's no stopping it. And it's just Pat McAfee, right, Animal? Like he is yep, just that's it. every game. Up. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go no sound. All right. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> that's what I just that's what Sorry. I call it. Sorry, Pat. No, that's um, that's fair. All right. Would you rather eat barbecue with Andy Reid or pick yes, up chicks with stop. Cliff Kingsbury? Oh fuck! I take <laughs> oh, that back. Oh uh, wait, did you see? I just yeah. saw a uh, an Instagram post or something. There was a guy reporting news from like his apartment or something. He was like a news anchor. I don't know why. Oh yeah, yeah. And there was and, a and naked the, the, there was a naked yeah, chick yeah. behind him. Not his wife. <laughs> yeah, not his what wife that walked by him in the Zoom. Yeah, I imagine not that's what Cliff Kingsbury is probably like. So, and barbecue with Andy Reid or getting chicks with Cliff? I mean, the snacks. You go first. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick chicks with Cliff. Oh, I love Andy Reid now nowadays. 
I, I, I don't disagree. But me and Andy Reid have history. He berated my Giants for years. I don't really want to hear from him. I don't really give a fuck what he wants to do. Well, I'm eating barbecue with him. I could eat barbecue with, with, with Bill the Snake, and it pretty much is the same thing. Or I could have Larry dressed up as Andy Reid again and eat barbecue with him. I could do that. If I'm going out and picking up chicks with, with Cliff Kingsbury, come on. I actually think the, the barbecue was like a negative. I don't really want to watch a fat guy eat barbecue in front of me. <laughs> Why I, not? I would have rather, I would have rather uh, just hung out with Andy Reid for an hour than, than eat barbecue with him. Because you ever seen... Well, you're hanging out eating barbecue. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to let you do that. And me and, me and Snacks are going to go get our, our, little, our willies wet. And, and what, Huge we'll missed you, opportunity. We'll also, eating barbecue is going to happen for like an hour. Chasing chicks at Close Kingsbury is a 24-hour ordeal. You're meal. also probably meeting your wife, your future ex-wife, and two girlfriends when you're going out with Cliff. So Many lot, opportunities. Long-term investment. Think about it that Many way. It's possible. It's possible. But a lot of dynasty. Whatever. Think of it like that. I think it's a huge missed opportunity. Let's go to the next one. Would you rather get tackled 15 times by Aaron Donald in one hour? Or five times spread out over a month, but you don't know when they're coming. <laughs> wow. How many times is the first one in a row? 15 in, in a, an hour. In an hour? I'm going to go with 15 in an hour to get it over with. Because I feel like if I don't know when the tackle's coming and he, <laughs> he hits me, I'm dead. Let me ask you. Uh, part. Can I go back and change my previous answer of wearing shoulder pads in public? Because <laughs> I will change. We should have thought that. We should have thought put that it. on. That's and, why you didn't tell us the questions beforehand. Yeah, I will put that on and get tackled five times throughout the entire month. I figure, like, even if Aaron Donald's coming to tackle you, you can't. it's not like you're protecting yourself. You're kind of just standing there letting him hit you. So no. so it's it's no difference from someone just coming out of nowhere and, and fucking your day up. So I'm going to take five over the month so that you can – you're going to break your ribs no matter who's hitting you. So I'm going to take the recovery time and then take the five hits over a month span. Well, you got to live in fear for a month. I wouldn't yeah, live that, in fear. My, no, you would live in fear. Don't speak for all of I us. Don't wanna, I don't want to be looking over my shoulder for waiting for Aaron Donald. That's not... Yeah, that's like not you're like, at Starbucks getting a coffee. This and is the like, difference yeah. between you and you guys and me. I'm fearless. I'm a leader. There's a, <laughs> okay. there, there's a reason that this is happening right now. There's a reason that I'm here and we're ready to conquer the world because I don't live in fear. I will not fear Aaron Donald. He could tackle me 40 times in fucking 30 minutes and I'd be fine. So go on to the next question. <laughs> All right, I love it. I love it. This one's a little simpler. We're gonna tone it back That's... down before we bring it back up. Would you rather watch football and drink alcohol? What? Oh, you, you hear the you people cheering for... outside right now? Do you hear that? Time out. Time out. Can you guys hear? Can you guys hear me? This is New York. Yeah, yeah I hear you. New York City's going nuts right now. You guys hear that in the background? Yeah, I hear it. 7 p.m. every night. Next question. We're gonna bring it back down a little bit before we go right back up. It's gonna be a nice, light, easy question here. Would you rather watch football and drink alcohol or watch football and eat pizza? This is a personal attack on me, as I was stating before. Um, 100%. There's nothing more I love to do than watch football, drink alcohol, and eat pizza all at the same time. I think they're essential. They all go together. I think it's the triangle that Phil Jackson really tried to, to make, but he instead <laughs> used, used Jordan, Pip, and Robin. I am going to pick watching football and drinking alcohol. I knew it. And I think it's a simple. disgrace. It's not a disgrace. That's ridiculous. It's not a disgrace. That was a disgrace. Pizza, it, it, pizza it and football is not like the, an, a, a, a real thing. What? If, if anything, it's like pizza. It's like football and, and chicken wings or something. Yeah. I need to drink my booze during the NFL Sunday to cope with fantasy losses, to cope with the Giants being terrible, to cope with all these different things. Yeah, well, I'm I not on that level of. The rest of the six days. Well, yeah, well, I'm not on that level of uh, needing the alcohol. But I eat like really fast, so when I eat shit, I'll, I'll eat like three slices of pizza in like five minutes, and then I'm done. I'm done enjoying it after that. So alcohol, you know, you keep that steady buzz Last going for the whole day. fucking day. So give me alcohol for a longer time, better time. Fuck pizza, animal. All right. Oh, I'm, I'm the, oh, I'm oh pizza that's guy. a little. That's aggressive. It was came out of nowhere. I'm sorry. Okay, you, you're a pizza Would. guy because you're gonna smoke all the dope on, in the country before you eat the pizza. <laughs> Would you rather? No. Get your team's logo tattooed on your face or have to cut off a finger anytime they win a super bowl throughout the rest of your life well this is tough for me because one i like to get a, i like to get dumb tattoos they're all over me so my, my first instinct is to get the tattoo uh but i don't want to get it on my face the other problem is and you guys might not know this about me but i've been uh a lifelong 
Kansas City Chiefs fan since last year. So <laughs> if yeah. we start racking up the Super Bowls, I'm I'm gonna be fucking walking around with with nubs for arms. So I'm gonna go with I would definitely go with the fingers because I'm actually a Falcons fan and we're not winning the Super Bowl for like fifty years. So I'll be dead by the time we win yeah. the Super Bowl. And you you need you need your fingers for your profession. I will easily take the <laughs> yeah. fingers. Yeah. Easily take the fingers because I think of it as motivation. You'd be proud. I, I will feel go like. I yeah, would love to lose a finger. This, this, this did this you see I what I did? Here. Did you see what I did? Listen, listen I'm a two-time champion. If I got, if I got to the point where I didn't have any fingers left, I would be the greatest person in the world. I would be the happiest person in the world. There is nobody in this world that would be happier than me. I would have made it. I would have twelve Super Bowls if you started next year and I didn't have any fingers left throughout the years. I twelve-time champion easily. Easily, easily. Max, if I were you, I'm easily. thinking like the the old school Giants, like where it just says, you know, they had the helmets where it said Giants yeah, right under the eye here. That well, looked pretty okay. dope. Here's another thing, though. If I'm going to get a Giants tattoo on my face, I'm going to get it on my forehead, and it would be the Giants <laughs> on my forehead. It wouldn't be like hidden under my eye. It would be on the forehead. How could it be hidden I'm, under I, your eye? <laughs> well, I'm saying like Max was saying, like you can hide it under your eye, put it right there. No, no. hide it, but like where Post Malone has it, like right here, just yeah, that giant. Big. Post Malone, yeah. uh, the the rapper. No, yes. I would put it right across my forehead, Giants with the, the line underneath it. That's what I would do. <laughs> but I'm not picking that. I'm chopping off a finger every time I win a Super Bowl because I think in the Daniel Jones era it might be seven or eight. So chop them off, baby. Ridiculous. All right, it's your there your there your fingers. Let's go with. Would you rather? Be a first round bust or never drafted at all. Where am I being drafted in the first? You're talking bust, You're so like top ten. Bust. Yeah, like top When you five. say never drafted at all, that that doesn't end with like you being successful. You just never are drafted and, no. and you just end up being You just don't have like the humiliation of being a bust. I'd rather be a bust. I would much That's, rather that be a bust. That label sticks with you forever. Yeah, but I don't care. I also got paid like twenty million dollars. Yeah, that first guaranteed money contract is pretty fat. And plus, if you're if you just never got drafted, then what? You're fucking what in like finance or something? You're probably a real estate. You're, you're just, just a guy. Estate. No one knows. No one knows that you're a big bust, and everyone thinks you're a loser. You know how many connections you're just you make? Normal guy. You know how many I, connections I, I, you make though with a, a, a with first round draft I, capital I, just in rather, the world? Who wants to work with someone who's a bust? Like I would easily and, hire Corey Davis on the Big Dogs team right now. <laughs> no question about it. Hold on. Think about I would it. easily you hire be, Drew Locke right now. You could be a Ryan. Whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Whoa. First you could also... second round pick. <laughs> uh, that's a good point. You could be. You could be Ryan Leaf. Be the biggest bust in NFL history. He's still getting paid to go on people's shows and talk about players right now. There's no way in hell I wouldn't pick that. Twenty million in the pocket right away. Probably more than that nowadays. You get to go and, and be a loser on TV and give your opinion. You know what I think the question should have been? It should have been number one overall pick and bust or like a fifth round pick that gets a second contract in the NFL or like a fifth round pick that, that plays like f four years in the NFL or five years in the NFL that's like decent for a team. All right, so the, then let's revise it that way, if I, Adam, if that's okay. Nah, fuck it. We'll move on. Keep I got, I got nope. plenty of more, plenty more questions here. Let's go with... Would you rather watch porn with Bill Belichick once a week for the rest of your life or kiss Tom Brady before he goes to bed every night? When you say watch would, porn with Bill, are we like simultaneously whacking one off together? I mean, it, sometimes it might happen. It could when you're watching porn. If you have the urge, it starts as it's just watching. Very difficult to um, decipher because when you say the question without asking what Nick did and your answer, I would rather watch porn with Bill Belichick so we could break it down and, you know, break down all the intangibles and, and the weaknesses and the strengths of, of, of both parties. Yeah. And I definitely don't want to kiss Tom, Tom Brady on the mouth before I go to bed every night. Just a peck. But uh, I'm also not trying to, to, to like smack my meat with, with Bill Belichick. Yeah. You left, you not, left yeah. too many loopholes in the Bill Belichick question that we could just sit down, put on a, a two minute porno and then get on the couch, get off the couch. And that's and it. We're done with yeah. it. But I would yeah, also like that, to hear that, him talking true. about breaking down uh, some film within porno. Like, you know, like that guy's got great contact balance and you know, like the holes that's are big enough for anyone like, to run like, through. So th I think there's a lot of, like, a lot like, of fun also involved in that. Jo Johnny sin shouldn't have went to this position 
this far into it. He should have went later. Got to open it. the hips there. So got to open the hips there. Got to <laughs> open up the hip. jo- 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 Johnny Sin's uh, hip placement isn't right where it should be. He should be closer to the bed this, this way. This guy's versatile. Man you see, he could play Something defense. Like he could play Versa- offense. You know, like I, I, I like where and the film hits, angle. And he hits all the holes. I, oh. I already kind of made that joke, but okay. Uh, yeah, but yeah, no uh, worries. You, you may have cut out. I didn't hear that. Good for so. you, my man. All right, well, I, I all right. Would you rather? Only be allowed to watch the second half of Thursday night football or the first half of Monday night football. I'd rather not watch Thursday night football ever again, to be honest. It's the worst fucking product I've ever seen. I know the complaint like you stay up. Everybody bitches about the games being late Thursday and Monday. I would rather watch the first half of Monday night football, I think. So would I. Because usually usually those knock on Thursday night football. (laughs) It it really is. I was just going to say because those games are always so bad. You probably get one good one a year. Out of like 16, you get one good one. Yeah, like I get I get really excited for Monday Night Football, whereas I don't get that excited for Thursday Night Football. So at least that first half is going to be really fun to watch. And a lot of fantasy matchups could be determined by like five points, and you have their running back, and it could be over in the first quarter. Yeah, so you could have like you could have uh, David Njoku on your team needs seven and a half. He gets put upside down like a slinky, bounced off his head out of the game, and you lose your fantasy matchup. So that also like that. Hate to and see it happen. Can, and then you can go to sleep. Hate to see it happen. All right. Would you rather know how every game will end or never be able to watch the end of the games? Wow. Whoa. Know the ending of every game. And that's box score and everything? Like, I know. You can't use it for run. gambling. Not even gambling. Like, I know what my fantasy players did. Like, I could see the box score and everything. Yeah. You'll know how the game ends, the stats, the score. Or I could never what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to never watch the end of the game. Yeah, I would probably go with that, too. I, I would at least want to watch the beginning instead of just knowing what happened because then it gives me no really real purpose to actually watch. The high percentage so, of games are not that exciting to finish. So I, I think like you're not really yeah. missing out on too much. I'd rather watch because everything else becomes fucking pointless if you know you know football, fantasy football, if you know what's going to happen. I mean, we make a hell of fucking mm-hmm. load of money, but what's money if you can't watch the games, animal? It means nothing. It means nothing, animal. Would you rather... Only be able to watch football every other season or watch it every season, but you can never bet on it. Easily the second one. Never. You could bet every other season, though, if you watch it the other way. You still can, you can still gamble. But I don't Just gamble that every often. Every other year. I don't gamble that often. To be, but you, Are you oh, like not okay watching an NFL season without gambling on it? It's not the same. It's it's fucking very much the same. It is not it's not the same. So you would you would skip an entire season of NFL just so you can gamble? <laughs> yeah, that next season I would go fucking ham. You're a moron. This is that's such a lot. You would not skip an entire season of the NFL just for that. I'd rather not bet on and watch every season. Yeah, it's a, right. so, it's a ridiculous answer that you would. I think, think I think there's plenty of ways to. I, I I love the gambling aspect. I love the gambling aspect. All right, this one's a little fantasy related here. Would you rather have the 101 and 102 in rookie drafts or the entire second round? Give me the first two because the hit rates on the 101 and 102 are so high, and we know what wins championships. It's those top-tier running backs. So give me CEH, Jonathan Taylor. They'll lead you to the playoffs single-handedly. So even if you have a shitty team, those two guys are going to get it done for you. Second round, the further you fall down in picks— the higher the bust rate is. Like, sure, you'll have a couple, maybe one or two guys that end up top 10 at the position. You'll have maybe like two or three wide receiver twos or something. But the majority of them, you know, it's a coin flip at best once you hit the second round. So give me those surefire elite Zominators. Put them in my squad. Stick them in my home. Yeah, I hate to agree, but I, I do. I guess it's also uh, dependent on if you have two stud running backs and you're in contention, then you may take all the second round picks but even then i probably still take the two studs i think they're sure fired especially now so i'm taking 101 102 easy money uh, taking the whole second round i think the, the especially in a draft like this with the depth i feel like i would be able to get at least four or five solid players that's why you're gonna, that's why you're gonna live in mediocrity animal <laughs> all right mediocrity it is <laughs> would you rather would you rather Chew Pete Carroll's used gum after every game until he retires or one season of wiping Vic Fangio's ass only after he has meatball dinners. I'm not wiping a I'm not wiping an old man's ass. Fuck <laughs> only for what if he only eats meatballs like four times a season? Then I'll I'll fucking what? still I'm what wiping his ass zero no, times. No, hold on. I have a question. 
Would you rather seek psychiatric therapy in Bergen <laughs> County or Essex County, New Jersey? <laughs> Which one? Listen, you got to answer the question. I'm chewing the Pete gum. Carroll's gum. This was absurd. I know for another five years. Animal, I know. I'm not, I'm not wiping nobody's ass, especially a grown man after a meatball dinner. Yeah, Animal, I know you long to wipe Vic Fangio's ass, and that's why you put this question in there. Because if you, you wanted to answer it so bad, we you wanted us to ask you what you would do in this yeah. situation. <laughs> without, I mean, without a doubt, you're wiping that is, Vic that is ass. Just, you. You need help. <laughs> yeah. You need help. <laughs> Yo, Pete Carroll could be coaching for five more years. You know how much? It's five times 16 pieces of gum. Yeah, That's but it's also four asshole it's wipes. Sti it's still better than wiping a man's ass after a meatball dinner. It could be one Unless wipe. That's it. Meatballs every Sunday. Yeah. He could've, could have fasted for 36 hours and I'm not wiping his ass once. Fuck that. No. <laughs> he could be right. constipated and I'm still not wiping his ass. Would you rather return a punt with no pads on? Or let Marshawn Lynch run you over with the trainer's cart, but you have full pads on. <laughs> with the trainer's cart? <laughs> what does Marshawn Lynch have to do with it if he's on the trainer's cart? Well, there's that video. You know that video yeah. where he, like, celebrated. He went on the trainer's the cart. Yeah, no, I know. But, like, it could be anyone behind it. And it's going to hurt you just as much. No, nah, it's Marshawn Lynch. All right, I'm getting <laughs> ran over. It would be an honor to get ran over by Marshawn Lynch. It's the same. I, I, I am 100% taking that. Uh, punt return. Wait, wait. Uh, do I have you to no return the punt? Or can I call off call, Can I call for a return it. You got to no, return, return it. All right. I'd Can rather I get ran fair over by <laughs> you know. It's a punt return. You'd bobble it anyways, and they, they would destroy you. You could be 15 yards away, and they still call it fair catch because everybody in the NFL is a pussy. But I would rather get bulldozed by Marshawn Lynch in full pads <laughs> with golf cart. Fair, fair. All right, back to earth a little bit with some football. Would you rather Ooh. bust the game-winning <laughs> touchdown run or a game-winning pick six? Pick six is fucking so electric. Pick six gets the stadium going like no other fucking play in sports. Tell me not. I mean, you're right. I, I've been trying to think for like the last Whee! seven seconds of a way that busting a run is. I mean, if you're Marshawn Lynch and you do the whole New Orleans Saints thing, that's a different story. But if you're like Al Harris against Seattle in the, the wild card game with Green Bay and you do that pick six. That might be the most electric walk off of all time. It's such a swing. Sport. It's such a swing in the pendulum in terms of like scoring yeah. and emotion. Because you're like, yeah. you're, you're like, oh fuck, we're never gonna win. We have to get the ball back and then score. And all of a sudden, you're right. fucking doing both in one play, killing right. two right. animals with one I'm, stone. I'm, I'm with you. Ooh, no pun intended. <laughs> no, there was. I, I was uh, fucking targeting intended. animal in that actually. <laughs> oh, I, pun I, intended. I, yeah. I know. I uh, I'm gonna go with the the game winning pick six. Backs. <clears throat> Would you rather your entire wardrobe consists of Various football jerseys, so you have an endless amount of football jerseys, or only one outfit that is just gray sweats. One outfit, gray sweats. Facts. Forever. Forever. Really? Yeah. I'm, really? I'm going gray sweats as well. I, I'm I'm a diehard I'm a diehard fan of an NFL team, and I own like two of their jerseys. So is I, that, don't, I don't I don't like jerseys don't either. It. Like I hate wearing them. I, I hate wearing them even when we go well, to the yeah. stadium and shit. Everyone, dude. Yeah. I wear a I wear a black T-shirt when I go to Giants games. I, I don't need it. I don't need a jersey or anything to tell. When you say people know gray sweatsuit, are you talking about like just gray sweatpants plus like a gray crew neck? Yeah. So you're saying Perfect. like so you're saying you're only jerseys or you look really fucking awesome? Yeah, we're gonna go with all the, the all gray. <laughs> I guess. I mean, I, I feel like people wouldn't want to wear gray just plain gray forever. Right, you well, get, what like, would you? Depressed. What would you pick? What would you pick? I'd pick. I picked the gray sweats. I can't wear a football You're jersey a forever. Even if you have yeah. an unlimited supply of jerseys, it's like you look like an idiot. Imagine, well, like, no all, one will take you seriously also, if you just wear no, jerseys just, all the time. No, walking around with football jerseys on absolutely everywhere. Absolutely not. And here's my other thing. Here's my thing. Like, Max, you're a diehard Broncos fan. Nick, you're a Falcons fan. I'm a diehard Giants fan. It, does the unlimited is it only my team because then I'll, i'm a real fucking creep. i would like i would like to i would like to and all that stuff i would like to say how every I, team how i appreciated you going animal you're a diehard broncos fan nick you're, you're a falcons fan i'm a diehard giants <laughs> fan you left <laughs> the diehard out of it uh no you're absolutely i told you i'm a lifelong chiefs fan since last year right exactly exactly so i i did my piece and i am taking the gray sweats I would pay, you know what? I'd pay money to just wear gray sweats and gray 
t-shirt every day. You know what would be awesome if I we never had to wash those gray sweats. Like every day you woke up and they were just like clean again. Like that would be really fucking yeah. cool. I know that has nothing to do with the question. <laughs> like you're a cartoon character. But I was just like the same yeah, every day. Yeah. It got me yeah. really sad just having to think about like having to rewash the sweats like every single day. It'd be so annoying. Nah, you can get past it. All right, yes. this one, I think we got like five or six left. This one is, uh, I think Snacks might like this. We'll see. Would you rather do coke with Lawrence Taylor yes. or smoke weed with Ricky Williams? The first one. Well, you know my, yeah. I, that, that's, that, I'm, are you kidding me? I feel like even if you don't like do coke or want to do coke, you have to do coke with Lawrence Taylor. Uh, I, that's exactly where I'm coming from. If you've never done it. Like, I'm a weed like, guy. If you're but sober, I'm doing if coke. you're sober. If you go in, you're sober for you're sober for life, and you're like, no, nah, I know drugs, nothing. Obviously, I have to do, pick one or the other. You're like, you could sit here and do coke with Lawrence Taylor, the greatest football player of all time. You're gonna sit there and you're gonna do coke with Lawrence Taylor, the greatest football player of all time. <laughs> it's that simple. It's that simple. That, that, uh, honestly, that might have been the easiest one you've asked all day. Yeah, I, I thought you would find it easy. I'd rather do coke with all Animal right. than smoke weed with Ricky Williams. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm what? honored, but but that's the wrong answer. Ricky Williams he, is a well, beast. He said LT. LT. Right. By the way, by the way, animal LT is, you know, it, that's Lawrence Taylor. It's not Ladainian Tomlinson. So if somebody ever LT. says, excuse me, they're both LT. We don't have to have this argument. Oh, uh, are you sure? I thought the question was yes. referring to Ladainian Tomlinson when you said LT. I got I got to change my answer now. Well, he said Lawrence Taylor. I am saying <laughs> it makes me disgusting <laughs> sick. No, it makes me sick that people call Ladanian Thomas an LT. There's only one LT. You think you say the words LT? Who do you think of? Tomlinson. Okay, Ladanian you know what? I, I'm not. I'm not listening to you because you're a fucking idiot. You. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> you are. All right. Be serious. Be serious. <laughs> Would you rather Lawrence Taylor? Yeah. LT. The only one. Kicked in the face by Justin Tucker. Or let Pat Mahomes throw a football at your face from 15 yards away. Kick in the face. That's a ridiculous choice. How? Why would you <laughs> rather kick? You're, what are you, you're, getting, yeah. you're getting fucking curb stomped by Justin Tucker over a bruised eye? You're out of your fucking mind. I'm deathly Pat afraid. Pat Mahomes has a cannon. T I, yeah. I'm Justin Tucker's going to kick you in your fucking face. You're out of He might probably break your neck. He might exactly. miss. He missed. He missed the big. Uh, he missed <laughs> he the big. Miss. He missed a big extra point. What was it? Next. Two years. Did ago he miss the ball or did he miss the field goal? <laughs> he missed the field goal. <laughs> that does, that's who, not relevant. Who's to say? Who's to say he doesn't miss my face? Who, who's to say Patrick Mahomes Justin has a Tucker. way worse has a way worse chance of hitting you from 15 yards out? I don't know. Have you watched the guy play? <laughs> he's pretty fucking oh, good. No, he's he's not gonna fucking miss. Okay, yeah, but I'm pretty missing. sure Justin Tucker has never missed a, a field uh, the ball on a field goal attempt in his life. Patrick Mahomes <laughs> has missed plenty of throws that aren't right no, in the right. face of the you're receiver. Right. You're right. I'm always you're right. right, Snacks. I'm always no, right. No, no, no. You're not always right. So shut the fuck up and listen. <laughs> Tucker has missed targets from 15 yards. Mahomes don't miss targets from 15 yards. Tucker, Tucker. Could miss my face. You can't win this he argument. Could, he could. I'm gonna take the chance that he misses. I am scared of Patrick Mahomes. I think he, honestly, at, at the end of his career, when they do the new Avengers movie, I think he's going to be one of the superheroes. Obviously, he's that damn good, and I'm that damn scared of him. So I'm taking Justin Tucker. You're a moron. Next question. You think Ladanian Thomas is called LT? Idiot. Would you rather get pancaked by Quentin Nelson? Or watch your significant other get pancaked by Quentin Nelson. Jesus Christ. <laughs> definitely the SO. <laughs> That'd be fucking... <laughs> I'm definitely... You're not going to take one for your girl? Hell no. She deserves that shit. <laughs> He's only doing what I wish I could do to her. Fuck that. Ring her up. I, her her. I, will, dick up, I, will dick gladly, I will gladly let my significant other get pancaked by Quentin Nelson over and Damn. over and over and over and over again. He's also I get he's also like a good guy. Up. I feel like so he would you know he would destroy her, but he'd also help her back up. That's what I think. Yeah, hundred percent. After she's dead, that's a good way of looking at it. You guys are true gentlemen. I see it. After she's dead, who said chivalry is dead? After she's after she's dead. Yeah, she probably would die. It's fine. Okay. Oh, would you rather help design plays with Kyle Shanahan or just have a catch with John Gruden? Oh, that's easy for me. I'm having a catch with John Gruden. I don't think Snacks would be able to understand what Kyle Shanahan was saying to him if they were designing plays together. No, you're right because you're right because I would start talking about the Super Bowl and when you're up 25 points with like midway through the third, I'm like, okay, buddy, you should run the football instead of keep throwing it. And then he'd be like, oh, well, uh, yeah, 
yeah, uh, 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 you know. Yeah, see that that going, would affect me if I if I was a diehard Falcons fan or if I wasn't a Chiefs fan. <laughs> so I'm on phase right now. On phase, I, I'm I ready just, for Aaron Donald to come in and hit me right now. I just, just think. Wait. Oh, that's good. I just think going back and forth with Gruden mm-hmm. would be hysterical. Just like having the a ball, catch, just ten talking. yards apart. Just like, <laughs> man, I tell you, I tell you. This Tyrell Williams, we got him last year as a free agent, but then we drafted two receivers, man. Oh, you remind, we got you remind me of uh, uh, Renfro, Snacks. I think that's what you hey, probably Renfro, say. Renfro, oh, yo, Snacks, you ever think about a career in the NFL as a slot <laughs> receiver, man? <laughs> I tell you, I'd love to coach you, man. Yeah, I, so, I definitely I, go with I'm Gruden on as well. Easy. I just wanted to take a shot at Snacks beforehand, but I'm, I'm definitely going to go with Gruden. All right, all right. Couple more, couple more. Would you rather be as fast as Tyreek Hill but make minimum wage forever or be Eddie Lacy? Eddie Lacy. Fat, got some money hanging out. I'm going to go with... Easy decision. I'm going to go with Tyreek Hill. I'm going to go with the speed. Speed kills. It it, it would be so much fun to be as fast as Tyreek Hill is. For no particular reason, but I just feel like... I was just going to ask for reason i do i would just run up and down streets all day people would begin to start knowing <laughs> me as like oh my god that's the fast guy that's well the- you're not yeah, like the but- flash you're not like a super you, you do get tired dude what do you mean not a superhero three kills basically a fucking superhero with his speed i'd be and uh, no i'm not true. tired i'd be i'd be a beast i'm gonna take eddie lacy because he can eat whatever he wants and he still has the potential to make a lot more than minimum wage so I think that's a fairly easy answer, Nick. I think you're an idiot. Life's not about money. Life's about speed. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. Give me Tyreek. Yeah. That, that, Quote that shit. Really, put it on a t-shirt. Bad. That's bad. That's really bad. This could be the last one. Might have one more. We'll see how it goes. Would you rather clean all the Super Bowl confetti piece by piece after one Super Bowl or watch... Live games with no instant replays for the next five seasons. Oh, oh, that's a that's a good one. I'm gonna clean the Super Bowl. I'm gonna clean the confetti. I'm piece gonna piece, man. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that too. Because honestly, there's a lot of games where like a challenge is is they throw a challenge flag and you have to see five different replays and then dude, not watching we all replay can. would absolutely kill the product of football. It would it would yeah. suck. It would be Destroy terrible. It. Just one it long terrible. night of cleaning up confetti. You mean just like the confetti that comes on the field and shit, right? Not like all over the city. Yeah, after the the not, when the Super Bowl's over. Session stand, right? Like, like yeah, but you got to pick it up piece by piece, like each piece one at a time. Yeah, well, I would do that. I, I can't. I don't think I could watch a football one game. One really replay. bad night. It actually might take you two days to clean all the confetti. <laughs> it might take one or two like, days yeah, is worth two. the five years of replays. Yeah, 100%. I agree. I agree. Also, build character, which Snacks needs plenty of. Cause he's that's not true. Lacking that. That's you know that's really fucked up. The personal shots need to stop. Why? All right, we can end it with this one. Would you rather never watch football again or never play fantasy again? Wow. I feel oh. like boom. I feel like boom. you can't have fantasy without watching football. Like yeah, that's a tough question. You can you check your team, set your roster, you just don't watch it. If I'm being true, like down to my core, I'm taking fantasy over football. I am going to take watching it. Oh, that's tough because, like, I'm I would have to. It's watch a, it's it. impossible. It's a, it, honestly, Max, you saved your best question for last. So good for you. At least for me, because I love fantasy to death. I don't think I would I, enjoy fantasy without being able to watch football. But like, I don't so know it, if it's I like, like a counter. It's like a counterintrusive thing. I don't know if it's I like a, football enough to just watch it on its own. You know, like day after day, week after week. Like my problem that, that, was is I would watch the Broncos and then after that I'm like all right I don't care what the rest you don't of the care games. about Thursday night football Monday night football like any of the games and well yeah. I, don't, I don't I don't think that's true Max you you said you couldn't not gamble well, on games so gamble. you could easily gamble so you could watch them you true. that replenishes the fantasy football aspect of it yeah that's true I'm taking the football then because I'll just gamble on all the games you're welcome um, I wonder thank if you I, snack I could still talk about fantasy content I guess I would just be a huge farce yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's like the, I guess you have so. to do everything based off of just looking at. Stats. No, Nick, I feel like you you can talk about fan. Why can't you talk about fantasy if you just you, you're gonna have to crunch the numbers and do it all on it your just own? Just hurts context for him. You won't know like exactly. For sure, how for sure, hurts now. context. But I no, I mean not, like I mean I, like I could choose watching football and then still doing fantasy football content, but not at, you said not playing fantasy, oh. right? Yeah, not playing. So it'd be yeah. like those guys who like oh, are on Twitter like talking about what guys are playing DFS, but they don't actually play any DFS. Like a lot of people do that. I'd be one of those guys, but like that's fucked up. But I, I, I think your your business will still be fine because you still like, get uh, to watch and talk about it and give your analysis and everything. 
you still get paid to do it, but you're not having the fun of actually Competing getting the thrill it. of yeah. a win. Or the yeah, you're like a, a, a drug dealer who like doesn't get right. high on his own yeah, supply. You, you don't want to get high on your own supply. Yeah, you, I don't get the dominant wow. animal <laughs> annually. Dish out the fantasy content, you just don't play it. Right. That's tough. And for me, I, I mean, I can't do it. No, I can't. Yeah, I think I would. Actually, I think I'm actually going to switch my answer to to watching football. Yeah, I I, I, I couldn't do it. There's no way I could do it. No way. Yeah. I might have one more. I might have one more. Let's see if this one's good. If not, Scott, you can cut it. The never ending hole. Would of you rather brain. be the QB <laughs> of a team where the fans love you but your teammates hate you, or your teammates love you but the fans hate you? That's Ooh. that's really hard to do both. I think I would go with that, my teammates love me and. The fans hate me. That's exactly where I'd go. Like you need because, the trust of the dudes in your locker room to to work every day and to be able to perform yeah. on the field. Going back to my point of when I would choose being a quarterback over a GM, all those points pretty much stand. Like girls are not going to care whether or not the fans don't like you. You're still getting your fucking money. Right. You're still a, like I'm. I'm good yeah. with all that shit. So fuck the fans. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. All you gotta do is get through the booze and you're good. Like, you don't want to be having fucking problems with your teammates in the locker room. Yeah. You guys that have your back, right? You can't be successful if they don't have your back. And if they have your back and they like you, then boom, great, terrific. Boom, great, terrific. You uh, get to go party with them right afterwards. You're not seeing all your fans at the club at One Oak in New York City at the end. <laughs> I'm taking... Snacks, you a big One Oak guy? What's so funny? You a big One Oak guy? No, I've never been. I was just <laughs> hypothetically that. saying. I would much rather have my teammates love than fans love. And that even goes for this podcast. I, I appreciate the haters more than I do the truthers. So I got um I've got one for snacks actually. If we want, we can end it with him just to see. It's more of um a moral question for snacks. See how he has no morals. good of a person he is. Alrighty, last one for snacks. Would you rather end hunger for everyone in the United States? All right, we're just snacks. His internet is so shot. I already know what the second Shit. part of this question is going to be. Animal is going to. Oh, oh! Do we have do we have snacks alive? Sounds no. dead. Well, he's going to ask him if he would rather end world hunger or see his team win another championship. And I can already tell you, he's going to say something along the fucking lines of, "I would rather see the Giants win the championship than breathe. I would rather <laughs> them win the championship than my own family living." There he is. Snacks, are you back alive? <laughs> no, he's dead. Fuck it. Yeah. Ask the question again. All right. Would you rather end hunger for everyone in the United States or watch your team win a Super Bowl, meaning the Giants? No. Can you repeat it one more Would time? Would you rather end world hunger or watch your football team win the championship, the Super Bowl? Win the championship. Not even close. I, I did Not even close. Literally, no. I'd give my own life to win a championship. I don't <laughs> fuck world. basically what Nick just said. All right, Fuck that's what both. we thought. It's not. It's not. It's not even a discussion. That's what you brought me in here for again. So it was a moral question. No, I get it. I work. Listen, I work for a nonprofit. I I do God's <laughs> work. We 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 do not, all these great things for amazing people. I mean, you know, probably. I hope so. That's right. <laughs> there is no way in hell I would feed the world before I pick. A Super Bowl champion. That's me. If I could pick up ring number three, game over. Game over. Nobody would touch me. I'd be the greatest person in the world. I'd be the, I'd be the greatest GM ever, even though I'm not. Yeah, so so not only would you not choose GM, to end world hunger, fan, everything. you'd rather lose a finger than end world hunger. Respect. Yeah, it's yes. true. You got it. A finger comes with it, too. <laughs> finger, you're losing a finger unless you're a farce. And you are. So Take maybe. my thumb. Take my thumb. That's the most important finger. Take my thumb. All right. Well, that's it for uh, today's Fade the Public. Or since Snacks is out of control, we're going to call this one Farce the Public because I don't I don't like the questions, the answers that Snacks came out with today. We're trying to end world hunger here. Big dogs got to eat. It's our mission statement, and you're going against it. You're losing fingers. You're choosing fucking Giants championships over world hunger. That that's it's we're not. That's exactly what. Goddamn, I'm, I'm fucking right. I am. <laughs> Unbelievable. Snacks. Didn't even think about it. I knew that was going to happen. It was ridiculous. All right. Well, uh, I'm glad you guys could join us for this week. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel. Answer if you're some new. questions along, too, in the comments. Let's see what you guys would do. I want to hear if you're going to take the fingers or not. Let us know. Uh, yeah, you take a finger and put it up animals. Little, little, little. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're done. I'm sorry. I hope you guys enjoyed this, this kind of ridiculous episode. Back to real good fantasy nonsense next week. Peace.